Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy sourdough panettone full of dried fruits and candied citrus. Oh, MG. Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy sourdough panettone. Panettone is a sweet uh, Italian loaf of bread with lots of delicious additions like raisins, sultanas, and candied citrus peels. It's traditionally eaten for Christmas and New Year's. Normally it takes many days to make, and while I'd love to spend several days making one, I'm gonna say, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so what I'm presenting to you in this video is by no means a traditional panettone, but it's still super delicious and can be made in less than 24 hours. If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. I'm on a quest to get the most out of every ingredient, and my goal is to teach you how to do that in simple and understandable steps. So join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. This panettone is made with sourdough starter, but that does not mean it's going to be the least bit sour. The dough is enriched with both eggs and butter. Mmm, butter. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. For specialty equipment, you're going to need some panettone paper molds. I'm linking the ones that I've used in the description. Other than that, you'll need some skewers, wooden or metal, it doesn't matter. You'll need to hang the panettone upside down while it cools so it doesn't deflate. These are the words. This is the recipe. The recipe, the ingredients and the amounts are linked in the card above. The night before, make the Laban by mixing. 50 grams of mature sourdough starter, 50 grams of bread flour, and 50 grams of water. Mix it well. Cover it and leave it to grow overnight. The next morning, it's time to mix the dough. To a bowl, add 450 grams of bread flour, 30 grams of sugar, 15 grams of salt, Mix it with your hand to combine the dry ingredients. Then add the entire Laban, 60 grams of milk, and four whole eggs. Use your fingers to mix the dough together. When most of the flour is combined into the dough, put it on your kitchen counter and knead it together until you have a cohesive dough. Put the dough back in the bowl and cover it with a damp dish towel for 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes are up, do the first set of stretch and folds. Three more sets of stretch and fold spaced out by 30 minutes. After the fourth stretch and fold, do a window pane test to check the gluten development. If it doesn't pass, do another set of stretch and folds. 
Once the window pane passes, take 250 grams of butter out of the fridge and cube it. Leave the dough for 30 minutes to relax the gluten. While the dough is waiting, add 50 grams of dark raisins to a bowl, then add 50 grams of sultanas. To that add 3 tablespoons of control. If you want it to be alcohol free, you can use orange juice. Then top it off with warm water until it's covered. When the 30 minutes are up, it's time to knead in the butter. Add a couple of cubes at a time and push them into the dough, then knead until it feels like it's combined. going until all the butter has been incorporated in the dough. When and if the dough gets too sticky, just add more flour. You want the dough to be tacky but not sticky. Once the butter has been kneaded into the dough, it's time to add the raisins and citrus peels. First flour your kitchen counter liberally, then tease the dough out into a rectangle, and then add half of the additions. Fold the dough down a third from the top and then fold the dough up halfway. Turn the dough 90 degrees and press it flat. You can feel the stuff inside in a layer and that's okay. Then add the rest of the additions on top. And fold the dough up a third from the bottom and fold the dough down halfway from the top. Then knead the dough. It'll take a few minutes to get everything dispersed properly. Keep going until you can feel there's not any layers left inside of the dough. Then form a pool and put the dough into a panettone mold. Take it and put it somewhere warm, covered by some cling film so it doesn't form a skin. Let it rise until the dome is to the top. This looked perfect when I took it, but it deflated as I carried it to the kitchen counter, so that's a sign that I let it proof for a bit too long, so watch yours. And mix an egg with a tablespoon of milk and brush the panettone lightly. Drizzle some cane sugar on top for a crunch. The last thing is to add some pearl sugar for some texture and sweetness. Bake it for about 95 minutes until a thermometer registers about 98 degrees Celsius, about 208 degrees Fahrenheit. Then stick some metal or wooden skewers through the panettone and put it upside down in a pot so it doesn't deflate as it cools. Leave it to 
cool completely, and then it's ready to be served. Are you ready to be served? Um, cake, I mean. Wow, ain't that a beaut? Panettone is an all-day snack. Serve it for breakfast with your favorite preparation of coffee. Serve it as a midday snack with a glass of Marsala wine. Or serve it as an after-dinner treat with a wonderful Italian sparkling wine. Or just eat it toasted with some delicious butter on top. Who doesn't love a versatile snack? I hope you learned something today. See you next time. Uh -huh.